Hi, I'm Vince Graves, a technical advisor here at Sega Manufacturing, and today we're going to talk about the vertical drop system in your SM22. Your vertical drop system is the bottom portion of your machine that vends your beverages. The thing we want to discuss about the vertical drop system is the fact that it allows us to vend a variety of different products in a small amount of space with a large quantity. For the purposes of this video, we've removed a delivery system and set it on this table so that we can look at the components involved and how to load your vertical drop system. When we're looking at the vertical drop, the first thing is the auger. This spins and vends the drinks, spins counterclockwise. Behind that is the rear spacer. This is fully adjustable and needs to be approximately a finger's width from the back of the rear drink. When the drinks are loaded they will push down on the sold out flap, pushing it flat and flush against the sidewall, which creates a contact with the sold out switch, as you can see here. Below the sold out switch is your motor. The motor drives the auger, and attached to the auger is your cam. And the cams are different depending on if it's a bottle or a can lane. The bottle lane cams have one lobe, and the cans have two. To adjust your home switch, you can loosen this screw and move this plate to allow for a larger bottle or can or a smaller one. And that changes where the auger stops in its rotation. Also in your beverage lanes is an adjustable shim attached with three metal tabs. These have a thumb screw that make them adjustable for different length bottles or cans. Set them accordingly and realign the three metal tabs inside the lane. The shims allow the bottle at the front of the auger to vend, keeping the back ones in the lane until the next rotation. Right now we're going to load some cans. If you look in your owner's manual, you'll see a full list of recommendations of all of the products that we have tested here at Sega and how it's recommended that you load them. With cans, we want to start with our caps or our top side front, loaded all the way to the forward of the lane, pushing the sold out flap flush against the wall. With cans, we need to go bottom to bottom or top to top as the way that they're created, they will actually bridge together and then they won't vent properly. So we need to make sure that we're always bottom to bottom or top to top. In this case, we'll go bottom to bottom for the second one, top to top for the third. We'll adjust our back gate forward, pulling it out of the metal tabs, approximately a finger's width from the rear of the last can. Once you have your products properly loaded, you're going to want to do some test vents to make sure that they drop properly. To do that, you press the blue service menu button on your control board, select the number 8, and then press any selection you want to turn, and you can run your test vents and make adjustments from there to make sure that they've been properly.